Welcome back everybody, I'm Just Zack and today we are going to have a look at Lucky Hero, a roguelike deck building game where we are spinning the Wheel of Fortune, a slot machine so to speak. Very interesting take on this genre, I'm very much intrigued to give this a try. As you can see, we're gonna have a look at the demo and I'm recording this one day before its official full game release, so feel free to check it out, link is as always down below. Quick look at the options menu. Uh, very good. Everything that we need for this kind of smaller style game that we want. Currently, there's only three languages. Let's hope there's going to be a few more with the full launch. I like that there's even some symbol store options, which I guess once you've played a couple of rounds, you know what to do with these. So that's nice to see. Resolution, full screen, everything there. Now, let's hit a new game and let's become the luckiest of hero and see what this game truly is about. All right, I'm clicking. Well, not these people, so I guess this. Warrior, fight with sword and shield symbol. Okay, so this is supposed to be the character selection. Okay, fair enough, let's go. Let's be a warrior. Hero, monsters surge from beyond our kingdom. We require your valor to stand for us. Uh, okay, oh, continue. I'm ready. And we start with select. Okay, just save the world. Um, I mean, at least there's some kind of story hook, even though it seems like this is like the most basic uh, imaginable, but fair enough. Okay, immunity. 15% chance to be immune to debuffs applied on the symbol by enemies and areas. Okay, ionization. Have 5% chance to deal one damage when using basic energy symbols. There's also slash. Deal five damage to the enemy available after nine spins. Heavenly Thunder. Randomly destroy one basic energy symbol and one enemy symbol. Can be used once each turn. Mm -hmm. Symbol Insurance. For every one symbol destroyed, get two gold and amulet. Remove all divas on symbols available after nine spins. I have an unknown. It seems like debuffing and buffing seems to be very important, at least debuffing, uh, to be immune by enemies and areas. Maybe that's good. Let's go with the slash. Let's deal more damage. Let's go with the most basic in this, but seems like these are already very interesting skills. Select an area. Okay, left. Seems like there is going to be symbol exchange. Enemy, enemy, elite enemy, and skill event. There, oh, there's a question mark. Random event, and there's HP recovery. I have no idea. I like random events. But there's the most symbol. Let's go with the most symbols. No idea. Okay, after defeating all enemies in this area, the entrance to the next area will be shown. So it seems like we can tackle these in any order we want. Is that true? Skill event. That sounds cool. Let's go skill event. Sure. Select one skill. Raise shield or self-healing. Raise shield. Gain 10 block available after 9 spins. And self-healing. Each spin gives a 30% chance to recover 1 HP. Both of these sound pretty good. A little bit of self-healing, maybe? Sure, let's go with that. All right, and let's find a normal enemy. Let's see what the core gameplay is about. Hero, here are the basic combat rules of the game. I like the background music. Sorry. Symbols on the wheel is your combat resources. Move the mouse over the symbol to check its information. Like energy, gain one energy. Fair enough. Wooden shield, gain one block. Small HP potion, recover one HP, get empty bottle left after using. Okay, stars, energy star, gain one energy, consume three times, okay, these are, can only be used so many times, a gold bullion, gain one gold, dim times four, and wooden sword, deal one damage, 50% chance to deal one extra damage, okay, got it, continue, game progress, energy to gold to gain gold, by symbols, energy to block, the block obtained each turn will disappear at the start of a new turn, the same applies to enemies, energy to sword, deal damage to enemy, Fair enough. Okay, it seems like punctuation is already a little bit like all over the place, but fair enough. Here are the skills you have. Skills are classified into active and passive skills. Active skills can be used by clicking in your turn. I guess this would be an active skill after nine, sp nine spins. And then this is a passive one. Got it. Continue. You can check all the symbols you own from the pack. The wheel will spin out random symbols from your pack. I don't understand that at all. That's my pack. Can't click it. The game ends when you are HP zero. This is your current energy. With your, uh, with your current gold, use the gold bullion symbol to get gold. Gold can be used to purchase symbols in the store. Fair enough, store. Hero, using the symbol store reasonably is the key to defeating enemies. Symbols in the store refresh after every spin. You best check it every turn. The more enemies you defeat, the greater the chance high level symbols appear. Store, about store, 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 hmm. 
The symbols sold in the store refresh every turn. The counter on the store tells you how many times left you can use stores on this battle. Once you buy symbols from store, the store uses minus one. Uh -huh. At the end of the turn, the store uses minus one. I mean, on a like informatical or mathematical thing, I get it. Once we use it, we can we lose one use on the store. But you know, you should always expect that uh, you have a player who is this might be someone's first video game, and someone who plays this for the first time would be utterly confused by this. So I'm not sure how to feel about this. This is the enemy's HP and info. Here's the enemy's intent. Move your mouse over the intent bar to view actions the enemy is about to take. Fair enough. This shows the area effect of the current area, like currently it's knowledge. Experience books uses plus one and has a better effect. We've got spatial relationship, adjacent and surrounding. Adjacent refers to the four persistent and surrounding is all that for me. Makes sense. Click the spin button, use the symbols to fight. Okay, spin to win, right? Spin it to win it. Okay, so I did this. All right, uh, tips, click to view can be turned on. This is my pack, so this is essentially, okay, my deck is my pack. Makes sense, details and statistics. Okay, we have some kind of filter at the very least, fair enough. Okay, we have two. So what am I supposed to do now? Even though with a tutorial, what, end turn? Okay, we take okay. I take energy and say one sword now I deal damage and we won the 50 50 to get it Okay, funnily enough the game kind of not really told us to you know click the energy and use it There was this bar before energy to sword to damage, but Actually took me a while to figure out that I had to click it, but I mean fair enough It's not that we can do that much else, right? So he's gonna attack us for two damage and he has why do I get broken wood and decayed wood? Seven times one. Unable to use every time the symbol appears, its duration counter minus one decayed wood. I uh, okay. The symbols from now from the pack one on. So he's going to add a decayed wood wood thingy to us? Hmm. Here we have energy. Let's get one block. Use this, get gold. Check the symbol store. Okay, fair enough. This is a collection of symbols from all over the world. It will refresh with each spin, so be sure to check it out. With just a few gold, you can have them. Fair enough. Oh, now I bought something because I wanted that speech bubble from the merchant to go away. Are you kidding me, game? Ah. I don't even know what I just bought. Price one, let's get some energy, maybe. I don't know. So apparently we bought a bit an experience book. On you slightly increase the probability of getting rare symbols in store. Which might be good, cause knowledge, experience books uses plus one and has a better effect. So I still need energy and this, I suppose. So is this now completely my deck? I guess, yeah, the consumables might lose charges or can I just do this multiple times? Maybe I can just do it multiple times. So where do I see my current XP? Turns, area progress? So I used this a couple of times, right? Well, let's end the turn for now. So he's gonna attack us. One damage, cause one blocked, and now there's this symbol now. Fair enough. Ooh, next one, he's gonna curse us. Randomly curses one symbol, so have 50% uh, chance to fail using cursed symbols. Mm-hmm, spin. Yeah, there's also the, the decayed wood, unfortunately. Wait, what? I need more energy symbols so I can use more symbols in turn. So this is cursed, have a 50% chance to fail. So if I use this, okay, we won the 50-50. So what is this now? Advanced and common. Decayed or broken? So I guess after I use the decayed wood six times, then it becomes a broken wood. This is not quite clear from the UI, but, but I guess this is how it works. Unable to use. Every time this symbol appears, its duration counter minus one. It's three broken wood when deleted. Okay, but why did this trigger his curse? Now he's gonna block. Hmm. So do I ever want to use this? No, this just happens. Every time the symbol appears, it's duration counter minus one. And yeah, when it's down, we get three broken wood. Unable to use. Every time the symbol appears, it's duration counter minus one. So it just clucks up our screen so far, it seems. Okay, let's get energy and experience, because this makes the store better, right? Oh, and money. Maybe I should have gone with more money. Let's go to the store. 
trash can. Delete one adjacent selected symbol. That could be good. Experience book again. So I'm by the energy. It does appear immediately. Is it now also in my deck, the extra energy? I would guess so, right? So he's about to block, but he's not doing it right now. Two energy. Let's get the XP and attack. And end the turn for now. Okay, he blocked. Now I'm gonna spin again. There we go. Yeah, we have more energy. That's pretty cool. Now he's about to attack. Guess let's just collect all the energy. There's not really a reason not to, right? He does has two blocks, so attacking doesn't really matter much, but I need money. We're gonna block. We're gonna drink the healing potion. There we go. And we still have one money. Wooden shield. Yeah, sure, let's get another shield for the block. So we should block all the two damage that's coming in now. Cool. That worked. Now it's our turn again. Freeze. Randomly freeze one symbol. Frozen symbols cannot be used in the current turn. So... He does this again. So it's always like an enemy has two turns. One before we spin and one after we spin. Is that how it works? That's kind of mean. So now we have this frozen symbols cannot be used in this turn. I mean, that's good that it landed on this because we, of course, don't want to use the decayed wood. Get the money. Okay. Store. Oh, we can't use the store anymore because I used up all this stuff. Might as well block then. Okay. I start to understand... I'm definitely intrigued. So he blocked for once. I'm going to spin again. And now he doesn't have like a second effect. So it's always like sometimes a thing. Hmm. Guess I gotta find this out. Okay, maybe I should have gone with more. Can I now use this? No, overused. He has two blocks. So it doesn't really help me much if I attack now. Can I keep the energy? Energy you have. Use no, okay. Does deplete at the end. And now he's gonna do this again before I spin, but it's not like I can do something in the meantime. So, why is this like in between turns? Okay, here. 20, 50% chance it doesn't work. Come on, 50 50 for do. Ah, of course that didn't work. Okay, just gotta end the turn for now. But hey, the tutorial combat, fair enough. Spin again. Now, again, there's no curse or so. Energy attack. There we go. Oh, you blocked! Oh. Because he had block. Well, of course he did. Yeah, I got. Okay, get in the turn. So, are the things I buy always in my shop? I mean, I did use up the experience book and that is gone. So, I guess it's always just if I buy something in this shop, it's always just for this encounter, right? So, and this clucks up my symbol stuff. Fair enough. There we go. But we deal damage and we got him. Okay, cool. Okay, now we can get some rewards. Another common shield, reward, more HP, or plus one gold. Is that permanent? How does this work? Let's get the symbol pack. Or is that just something... Let's get that. Is that something I added to my spin now, the gold? No. We have two, so I guess... I, well, at least I would guess that we always start the round now with two gold, maybe? Okay, let's do another combat and then exchange and then elite. Because now I want to apply what I've just learned. Slime. A plankton. Okay, he's gonna use Muckus. Enemy liquid. Consume four energy cost. Unable to use. Every time the symbol appears, its duration counter minus one. Okay. So far, it's only clucks up our thing as well. Oh, we still have the broken wood in here. Okay, this is... Okay, so we are still quote-unquote weakened... quote-unquote weakened by the previous encounter. Didn't expect that. That is... wow. Okay. We still have two blocks, but I had that before, right? The, we don't have the experience book, so everything I buy here... Okay. Oh, oh no. Gotta spin first. There we go. All right, let's see. Okay. The blocks disappeared. Now this is the thing. He's about to attack us for one. Get the energy. Get... I mean, I could take one damage. Technically, I have a, a, the... Uh, option or the probability you know to just recover this oh that was just one gold gold bullion game one gold Va vacuum cleaner rare okay recycle consume one energy cost one delete one surrounding select symbol steel sword you have three damage sounds pretty good actually let's maybe go with this maximum hp once is this hmm. still gotta learn stuff here Okay, I mean, if we roll the 50-50 on here, we already win this round. Come on. Ah! 
Screw you, game. Okay, we take the block. So we're not gonna take any damage now. About the XP from before, I still wonder. Okay, it's gonna do the freeze again, but we do now have the damage. I still wanna look into the shop. Okay. Oh, cannot be used. Never mind. Okay, we're gonna deal the damage on this encounter. Okay. Now we can select a reward, HP plus one. Maximum HP plus two. I guess this would be on the slot and maybe? Hmm. Doesn't really tell us, right? Because maximum HP plus two is then better than just HP plus one. I'm not sure if this is healing. Uh, experience book. On use, slightly increase the probability of scanning rare symbols and so on. I, the thing is, I don't know if this is per combat or if this is for like my complete run. So I'm gonna go with the two extra HP. At least I know what that does. Okay, marketplace, uh, marketplace, da da da. Give out one symbol and get a different one of the same rarity for free. I mean, this is advanced, but I like the steel sword. So we have only one, yeah, I think it's the small HP button. We have, thanks to our self-healing, the option to heal every turn anyway for 30%. And this only has one cons uh, consume charge anyway, right? So I want this for an iron sword. Yeah, that sounds decent. Pay three gold to give out one symbol and get a different one of the same rare. So did I do that now? Is it now in my pack? It is. Now we have an iron sword as well. Cool. So system detected insufficient gold. Oh, okay. Don't have the two gold anymore. Did they disappear in the previous encounter now? Let's go elite encounter. Hmm. Okay, I do have zero gold. This is a bumblebee who is going to use double spike. Randomly inflict spike to two symbols, receiving one damage from each unused symbol with a spike at the end of turn. Ignore the block. So that kind of incentivizes me to use the things where this landed, lands on, right? So let's get the energy. We see, he is about to attack us for three. Dim times four, gain one gold. I need more gold, don't I? Oh, I actually wanted to click the pack. I have only one gold right now. Another wooden sword. What if I go back? Yeah, I need more money. It feels like this is a problem. So it seems like money stays. Definitely want to attack for two. Don't take the damage. We have to use this also. Do I block for one to reduce the damage? No, we have to get the three damage in. I think this is better. Okay. I could buy a wooden sword, but I'm not sure if this is worth it. Let's just end the turn for now. Okay, two damage in. We blocked one at least. It's gonna spin. Maybe we get the heal. We did not get the heal. Dang it. He's about to block for three. Okay, no. At least we can use this, like... Is this permanent, the dim? No, this is always... Okay, we can at least this time... Use this four times per... Okay, per combat. Got this. Maybe we can just win, but do I want to buy something? Rare chest. Get one symbol at random. But this costs four. Experience book. Again, now if I buy the energy, is that permanent or not? Four. I still haven't 100% understood this, so I'm buying this now. I have this energy. Here it's five. I use it. Still five in the pack. I just steal the damage, win the combat encounter. There we go. Maximum HP plus three. I guess gold is better. Let's go with the gold. So we have three gold right now. I look into my pack, I have five energy. Okay. So the things I do... Yeah, of course, the steel sword is also permanent. Silly question of me. Of course, that stays. Okay. Let's go to the next floor. Ooh, what is this? Delete symbol. Skill event. Pretty cool. Symbol sale. There's gold. Gold, lead. Probably this, because I want to show you guys things we haven't seen before. What is this? Knowledge, again, for experience books. So I would have guessed the experience we gained also stayed, but where can I look where my current XP is, for example? Is there anything that tracks this? That I have X amount of XP? No idea. Right. This is a delete symbol. The question is, do we want to do this right now? We could just delete this. But the, a different question would be, do we want to already start deleting symbols we don't use? Maybe I'm going to wait on this a little bit. Okay. Oh, skill event. Yeah, let's get a new skill. Immunity. 15% chance to be immune to debuffs applied on the symbol by enemies and errors. Pretty good. Heavenly Thunder. Randomly destroy one basic energy symbol and one enemy symbol. Can be used once each turn. Mm, I think I'd rather take immunity. 
Sounds very strong, actually, considering how many debuffs we gain. Okay, I'll see you guys in a second. Time to delete our first symbol, this delete symbol. You have discovered an ancient stone statue. Well, we're gonna approach it. So these are my current symbols that I can delete if I want to. We have a bunch of energy, which is good, of course. So I would guess let's actually get rid of the wooden sword. Or one of the wooden shields. Know this, because we hopefully get better symbols. You know, let's, tr let's try this. Also, elite encounter number two. Let's see, against a stone giant. He's gonna burn us and he's gonna stone. Stone is just, ooh, unable to use, but that doesn't disappear. That stone is not good. Okay, let's spin for now. Randomly burn one symbol, it's receiving one damage when using it. Okay, could be still okay. Let's get all the energy, one XP, also the gold. We have six gold right now. Let's go into the store. Ooh, a phantom sword, miracle. Attack weapon sword, energy cost one. 50% chance to deal six damage, 50% chance to deal four damage, 2% chance to deal 66 extra damage. For each other same symbol appearing, the chance to deal extra damage doubles. Ooh, there's also just a legendary thing, the resurrection coin. Resurrect with one HP upon death. Effective during this turn, cannot be copied. Six, oh, so good. But I guess I'd rather have the phantom sword right now. Do I want to have this energy as well? So when is too much energy, you know, too much energy? Let's get this as well, just to spend the money. So I have eight energy in my deck right now. I think this might be my end now. I'm not sure if I want any more. Six energy right now, Phantom Sword. Okay, 50% chance six, 50% four. Let's go. Okay, we dealt six damage. That's pretty good. We don't need to block, so three damage like this, two damage like this. Ah, uh, slash is not available. Used this previously. Okay, we need to find a way to get rid of the stone. But we're doing okay, I guess. All the experience books, apparently very helpful. Okay, he's gonna try to burn us again. Still fine. Okay, there, it's on the block. He would... Oh, enhancement. Attack, defense, and recovery plus two. Well, it's fine, because I think we already won. Can I buy something for one energy? Healing herb. Recover one to two HP. Also a consumable. More small HP. Oh, there's an ice sword, but we can't afford this. Okay, it's fine. Let's just end this with a phantom sword. Oh, only three damage. What? Has this become weaker? Oh, I guess he had one block. Okay, iron sword. There we go. Okay, we're doing surprise. Oh, another phantom sword, which doubles that, right? For each another same symbol appearing, the chance to deal extra damage doubles, so it would be 4% chance of two or both are there for 66 extra damage. And also like this, 4 damage or 6 damage, this is a pretty good thing, let's go. Two phantom swords, okay, what else? We have symbol store, a chest, oh, I haven't seen a chest yet, skill event, skills are so important. Skill store, gold, but I want to see what there, we haven't seen a chest nor a symbol store, let's go over here then. So what are these about? First off, the chest. There could be anything in the chest, even a symbol store. You found a treasure chest. Open, select one symbol. Ooh, a united greatsword, epic. Attack weapon sword energy costs zero, deal zero damage. Damage plus four e for each attack type symbol surrounding. Ooh, or the power shield, miracle. Um, defense shield energy costs one, gain zero block. For every time it appears, the symbols block plus three. On use, the block drops to zero. That could be very good. Energy cube, legendary. Also energy cost zero. Retain the remaining energy to the next round. Ooh, cannot be saved to a new battle, not this next area. So it's in the same round, which is actually very cool. Wow, that could be good. Considering how much energy we have, even though I cannot with the power shield, weapon furnace. Okay, miracle weapon enhancement, consume one energy cost one. Randomly strengthen a surrounding weapon. Success rate is 80%. But then it will be consumed and it could fail. So it's for me either the energy cube. Because we have a bunch of energies so, and taking that towards next rounds could be good. But I also really need some survivability, right? With a block. But it's legendary, guys. And we can use this multiple times. Okay, let's take let's try this. Usually having a bunch of energy is very good, right? So there's also the similar store, but we only have one gold. So I guess I want to keep that. Also, Rocky Ruins. 12% chance to add one stone per spin. Oh, we need a way to remove symbols then. That is terrible. Maybe I should have looked, looked at that first. 
Well, I tried to do the simple combat first, gain a bunch of money, and then we see each other at the simple store. See you guys in a second. Defeated the delete encounter, now we have the simple store. I don't have that much money though. It seems like you really should prioritize, uh, prioritize maybe getting a little, more, little bit more gold early on. I kind of underestimated that it seems like there's a lot of cool items now in the shop because i also have like that much xp right so i have a good chance to have all the cool items appear but i like the money to actually get it so that's a thing but what could we buy well gold bullion energy hp gem the furious warrior sword legendary attack weapon sword energy costs one deal one damage every time the symbols appear steal plus one damage up to 12 so later on this could be I guess this means this is permanent, maybe? So that could be 12 damage. Pretty cool. Ice Sword. The same damage will not be frozen. Damage plus one permanently if there are surrounding symbols frozen. Or the Spike Neon. On use, add spikes to the surrounding shield symbols. Added spikes, number equals to your block. So spike is reflect the damage back, yeah. Ah, the Gold Bullion costs three. I mean, I have the Iron Sword actually not that good anymore. The Phantom Sword, very good. Steel Sword is fine. I mean, this for free 12 damage potentially could be amazing. Kind of wonder if I need the money, though. Let's give this a try. One left. Well, we did that. Let's move on. So we have Assault. Gold Decline. All basic gold symbols uses minus four. Uh, two. Hmm. Venomous Swarm. Apply two poison to both player and enemy after seven spins. 9% chance to add one venom per spin. Hmm. What is this? Assault. Attack symbols. Damage plus one. Defense symbols. Block minus one. Ooh. Okay, here we would have a skill event, very good, random event. We haven't seen a random event yet, right? So let's go over there. So what is a random event about? Let's see. You found a mushroom forest. Well, let's go in there. Get a symbol. Mushroom or toadstool. Mushroom has recover 1 HP, remove all poison. Every time the symbols appear, HP recovery plus 1. Every time the symbols appear, it's having a 2% chance of turning itself into a toadstool. Ugh. Or just get a toadstool. By the way, both are rarity rare. Apply one poison to self. Every time the symbols appears, poison plus one. Every time the symbol appears, having a 2% chance to turning itself into a mushroom. So maybe there's a reason, like, if we are poisoned, we deal more damage. Maybe there's characters who benefit from that. So this could heal us a while. Get symbol. Or oh, do I get both? What's my deck like now? Wait, I have... Why do I have two toadstools now? This is a bug, isn't it? This is horrible. What a what a bad event, like seriously, this is so horrible. I don't know what to do about that. That is wow, this is bad. Dodge rate 10%. Ooh, damage, that would be amazing. Ionization. Have a 5% chance to deal one damage when using basic energy symbols. That could be good as well. I do use a lot of energy, but dodging could be good. But we can't rely on dodge. So let's actually take the 5% here for the occasional extra damage. Let's see. Basic enemies, how strong they are. Thunderbird 57, wow. Yeah, you really get very powerful easily, but enemies do so as well. Charge. Very basic uh, energy symbols use plus one damage for this turn. Well, that's terrible. Because that's what I do. Let's hope it doesn't do damage. So now I have Venom, Venom 2, or what does that mean? Or I could just consume it. Six damage coming in. Well, we also deal extra damage. I kind of have to, right? Oh no, I think this is the end. Store, recover, weapon enhancement. Oh no. Should I take this now? Maybe we can also use the trash can to get rid of the toadstool, which deletes one adjacent symbol. But I kind of want this for the stone. Oh man, this is gonna hurt. Slash is not ready. Let's hope for the phantom sword. Maybe you one shot it. Yes, that was so important. Um, recovery, good. No, I think we need gold. Okay, let's go with another basic enemy. Oh, it's a Scarlet Warrior. Weaken. Randomly weakens three symbols. Attack symbols, minus 5%. Okay, it's just worse. Also, thanks to our thing, we still have the extra energy. Okay. Really? Yeah, my deck is so full. Don't have that much gold anymore. So you weakened some stuff. Let's gain the energy. That's important. Oh, hey, there we go. The 5% triggered. We have 6 energy right now. Always gold, I think. Maximum HP could be okay. He's going to block, so we don't... Okay. Phantom Sword. 7 damage. Fair enough. There's more energy. There's 3 block. Another trash can. 
could be good for the toadstools, or I could buy it. Okay, you currently only deal three damage. You are weakened. I don't need to block. We have three money. Steel shield could be bought. Guess we want to get the damage in regardless, right? He has so much HP. I'm in trouble. Okay, well, so for this, attack symbols deal more and defense symbols do less. Yeah, my deck isn't good enough. You really want to focus on one stick and then be super strong, right? Oh, man. Even though technically I have so much, yeah, you really clutter your deck. You have to be careful. Even with the 8 energy, sometimes it's pretty good, sometimes it's not. Ooh, 6 money. Store regardless. Edge of Despair. Epic weapon. Energy cost 1. Deal 32 damage when HP is 1. Deal 2 damage when HP is between 5 and 16. Deal 6 damage when HP is between 10 and 12. Deal 10 damage when HP is greater than 10. Cannot be enhanced. Deal 10 damage when HP is greater than 10. But we also deal 2 damage when HP is between 5 and 16. Deal 6 damage when HP is between 10 and 12. How does that work? I kind of want to find out right now, honestly. But I only have three energy. It could go up to eight. That's not enough. Because what happens if we are, like, legitimately at 11 HP? That means all these three bottom ones should trigger, right? Two, six, and ten. So it should be uh, 18 damage then? That would be cool if that is true. Okay, always Phantom Sword for the high roll. Ah, here's the block. Well, it could have still worked. Well, he's not gonna attack now. Let's get the money for now. That's about the best I can do. He's gonna block. He's gonna double curse. These two are okay. Okay, we need the energy. Freaking Muckus here. Not a cool Super Muckus. Every time the symbol that appears, surrounding symbols damage and block minus one. Yeah. Oh, well, one damage for energy is fine for the time being. Let's get the money. Four energy left. He's going to attack and Corrosion Sword. Unable to use. Every time the symbol appears, deal one damage to player. The symbol gets deleted from your pack after the giver dies. Okay, it's only for this combat then, so to speak. Oh, a Conversion Strike. Legendary. Convert your current block into the attack damage. Well, I don't really have much block right now, right? Sword of Life. Deal two damage, 50% chance to recover on HP. Damage doubles if there are HP gems surrounding. Well, I have one. I think that's not so good. Uh, and use the surrounding swords damage plus one. No, we have a couple of swords, but I don't think this is good enough. Let's save the money then. Always energy orb, because why not? Uh, always, maybe high roll. Could have worked. Uh, blocks are not so good. This is actually minus one block. Wow. Okay, also some HP. This, let's gain the maximum HP. Maybe I should have taken the healing, actually. Seven damage coming in. Oh, we are in big trouble right now. This could be it. My deck just isn't optimized well enough. One damage there. Damage up. Interesting. Okay, I do have ten money. Come on. Wait. First, get the energy. Oh, there we go. 50-50. Legendary Store. Okay, there's another Furious Warrior Sword. Guardian Blade. Deal 7 damage, gain 1 to 2 blocks when there are defense symbols surrounding. That could be decent. Or Destruction Bomb. Remove remaining blocks from enemy. Deal 30 damage, destroy surrounding symbols. Huh. If you wanna, if we really have a lot of stuff we want to destroy, that could be good. Or we just wait for the perfect moment, so to speak. But I'm not sure if that is there yet. He's going to attack for 10. So right now we're about to lose. Guardian Blade. So one to two blocks when there are defense symbols rolling. There's at least this one. So we deal damage, gain two block. So we're le at least <laughs> surviving, if nothing else. This for also heal. One energy left. Always hope for the high roll. Okay, five damage in. Oh, we're in trouble. Yep, spin again. Yeah, need all the self-healing. Uh, one damage again. This Corrosion Sword. Not nice at all. Okay, six mana. Two Saber. Legendary Defensive Shield. Gain five block on use. Remove all debuffs from surrounding symbols. That could be kind of nice. But it costs eight. We only have two, so money is not the thing right now. Guardian Blade. There's no defense symbol around. Okay, drink the healing potion. Hope for the high roll. Nope, no high roll. It's going to attack for 10. I have gained zero block. Great. This. Okay. No extra, but three. Unable to use. Automatically collect surrounding liquid. Like this. Enemy liquid. That could be good then, maybe? I guess. Well, this is surrounding, right? So a little more extra block. Use this. 
He's down to 25, if nothing else. Hmm. Use this. I mean, the block? Completely useless right now. Let's use this. Okay, down to 22. Oh, man. Come on. Spin. Spin the wheel. Okay, slash is ready. And a little bit of feeling. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Get the energy. No damage. Use the slash. We need everything right now. Still the gold. Okay, what can we gain? Okay, some HP. Diamond shield. Miracle. Cost six, though. Gain six block for every additional appearance of this symbol on the block. Wheel block plus one. Wait, what? Six? For every additional appearance of this symbol. Okay. So the more diamond shields, the better, but we only have this one. Man, this one costs 15. Do two damage, gain one block. The composure sword. Hmm. Select one surrounding symbol to copy. The copied symbol is the initial state and the effect disappears at the end of turn. So if you have something really good, that would be amazing. It's going to attack for 10. High roll? No high roll. Okay, that should block at least two. Okay, we have barely enough damage to win this. Wow. Oh, healing three, not so good. Uh, spike doesn't help, but I need the healing. Oh, no. And now it's only elite encounters. Okay. Come on, guys. Let's have our last stand. I don't see us surviving this at all. So you have ice armor. Randomly freeze one symbols after receiving damage five times. Freeze. Okay. Bunch of freeze. So symbols can't be used that turn that are frozen. That could be worse, I suppose. Does this ever go away? Um, every time the symbols appear, surrounding symbols damage minus one, consume four. Oh, I just gotta pay it, right? There we go. Ooh, some one damage, eh? Hey? Oh man, that is not that much. He's going to wow, block a lot. I roll. Okay, six, still fine. What's in the shop? Rainbow energy. Again, one energy. When the symbol is on the wheel, it resists the debuff of adjacent symbols. Interesting. Gain five block. Well, gain one money. Mana. Do I want this? Of adjacent. Maybe. I need energy. It's a three. Uh, this, a damage, cool. The others, okay, this, uh, at least five damage and get the money, I suppose. Whew. Yeah, you really want to focus on a particular build, but that is cool. The more experience you have, the stronger you can become, I feel. Okay, give me all the energy, thank you. Block that. Oh, he's going to deal 15 damage. Oh, guys, I think this might be it. Three. Do I have anything here? Uh, extra damage and recover two HP. Uh, I have 20% chance for each HP gem appearing. No. All current defense symbols block improves by two times. I mean, two times zero is still zero, right? I think this might be it. There are surrounding symbols. There aren't. Come on, high roll. No high roll for me. Okay, one heal, little of block, a bit of block, four, eleven coming in. This is it, right? I think I've lost. I think I just lost. Zero block. Right, the Ice Knight. Yeah, okay. Warrior was defeated, but I think this is cool. This is a lot of fun. Yeah. At first I was a little bit, you know, uh, how are the mechanics gonna work? But there's so much cool build variety. The power spike is real, but uh, it's both for you and the enemies. You can go uh, become crazy powerful and wreck everything early on, but you will never stay like this because enemies also get stronger. So you have to do your best to really like stay out of the cur curve. But yeah, lucky hero so far. Double thumbs up. And as long as the full game has more content, more cool characters, which are definitely going to be a thing, this is going to be a cool thing. The story could be, you know, a little bit more fleshed out, but thumbs up from me. Please tell me what you think of Lucky Hero. Uh, consider sharing the video. Make sure to stay awesome. And truly, thank you for watching. We see each other in the next video.